hands go up. The Nashville Predators hung on last night, defeating the Dallas Stars in the third game of the Stanley Cup playoffs first round. News Channel 5's Steve Lehman has more on their win from Texas. Dallas had just scored, and a sold-out crowd here at American Airlines Center was set to explode. That's when Pecorino spent much of his night keeping his team in the game, saved the night for the Predators in that crease behind me. The reigning Vezina Trophy winner turning away what looked like a sure Jamie Ben goal with a flailing kick save that was the best of his 40 stops on the night. It would have been 3-2 three, three, the other way, and yeah, it was it was big at the time. It felt good to good to make that save, and then we go the other end and we score we score a goal. That was a big point I thought in the game. You know, you're under fire a little bit. They start to grab the energy in their building. Um, I thought that save was big, but for me, it just resembled his whole night. Minutes later, Macau Granlin scored his first postseason goal as a Predator, which proved to be the game winner. But it was a defense that blocked 28 shots and killed off four more penalties, including 89 seconds of a five on three that was the difference in game three. We've been really good. Uh, I don't know the statistic of the five on threes, but I feel like we've been really good. We got the right people out there, and obviously, Pex made some great saves as well. Great teams got fine ways to make a difference in those moments, and it was unfortunate, obviously, to go down two guys, but uh, we found a way to get it done. So the Predators take a 2 1 series lead into game four Wednesday night. But as P.K. Subban said afterwards, we've got a lot to learn from this game, and we have to be better. In Dallas, Steve Lehman, News Channel 5.